Hey everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shearer. In this video, we're going to be talking about how we use our locator scan bodies to do an intraoral scan of an edentulous ridge with locator abutments in place. The locator scan body is a pretty innovative tool in our toolbox for overdenture cases. It is a specialized snap cap that goes over the top of the locator abutment, which creates an ideal recess in geometry for our laboratories to go ahead and design a digital denture or even you know, conventionally processing acrylic if we 3D print the models. But regardless, it allows the laboratory technician to go ahead and make a denture either digitally or analog on a digital or, or 3D printed model. So that way we can go ahead and get a denture back in our office, see the patient back, put the actual housings, which is the metal housings with the nylon inserts in them, and it'll be a perfectly sized recess. So what happens is, this is that the locator scan body is slightly oversized, allows the technician to say, okay, there's the space that I need to make the ideal recess for a locator housing itself on top of the abutment. I simply make a denture to fit over the top of those scan bodies, give it back to the clinician. The clinician can pick up the locator housings with chair side attachment processing in the mouth. Also, the locator scan body is designed so that way it's easier to scan using most intraoral scanners. Since it doesn't have a shiny metallic surface on the top of it, the, the intraoral scanners can pick up uh, the nice matte finish very easily. Plus, there's a little bit of geometry in there, so that way the, the intraoral scanner can kind of match some of that geometry together. And then in the future editions, there'll be true scan body matching, so that way we can go ahead and utilize it in a true scan body fashion in dental softwares. So let's go ahead and talk about how we do this with intraoral scanner. We have a patient here in my practice that has a maxillary four implant overdenture. Locator abutments placed approximately in the 6, 7, 10, and 11 regions of the maxillary arch. We can see here that he's got a pretty flat and broad palate, which is oftentimes a little bit more difficult to scan. So what we've done here is, is we've gone ahead and we've taken the locator scan bodies, snapped it onto the locator abutments after they've been torqued down, radiograph confirming their fit, snap on the locator scan bodies, now we're ready to go ahead and get scanning. Once we have our intraoral scanner set up, we can go ahead and then take it directly to the mouth. We'll begin by scanning on the premaxilla area of the maxillary ridge. I find that this has a lot of rugae and good anatomical structures that allow the scanner to lock into those areas. And then what I do is I do a bob and weave motion as I go further back onto the posterior aspect of the palate. And then I do almost like a wax on, wax off type, type motion so that way I can pick up some of that area right around the vibrating line. My assistant and I are holding those cheeks fairly taut so there's very little movement of the actual vestibular area. Then I take my intraoral scanner and I start sweeping across in one continuous motion across that area of the premaxilla. At some point I have to switch my hand around to capture the left side of the patient as you saw right here. Now the trickiest part that I've found is swinging around to that back left side because I have to negotiate holding the cheeks pretty stable and steady so you'll notice here that sometimes I pick up a little bit of double image when I get to that back area back there. No big deal, I go ahead and take my intraoral scanner and just continuously scan over that area and it will fill in those areas. Now I have to go back and just fill in a little bit of the details around the locator scan body, being cautious not to scan too much of the vestibular area flat. I'm kind of leaning the scanner as much as possible into the actual geometry around the locator scan bodies so that way I can pick up the geometry but not pick up additional soft tissue changes because most intraoral scanners get lost when the cheeks move a lot. So we try to keep the vestibular areas as stable as possible and ultimately you can see we've got a pretty nice looking scan here. Inspecting it from a few different angles, especially after post-processing, very nice, very clean scan that we can go ahead and now send to our laboratory and make a very predictable either digital, uh, uh, a digital denture or digitally produced analog denture.